Welcome to our daily devotional series, The Daily Herald. I pray that these messages will come to you as an encouragement and a reminder to be heralds of the Lord daily. God bless you. Reminders of our heavenly home. April 21. Thou, even thou art Lord alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth and all things that are therein, the seas and all that is therein, and thou preservest them all, and the host of heaven worshipeth thee. Nehemiah 9 6. There is beauty in the valley's awful grandeur, in the solemn, massive cleft rocks. There is majesty in the towering mountains that look as if they touch the heavens. There are lofty trees with their delicately formed leaves, the spires of grass, the opening bud and blossoming flower, the forest trees, and every living thing. They all point the mind to the great and living God. Every faculty of our being testifies that there is a living God, and we may learn from the open book of nature the most precious lessons in regard to the Lord of heaven. In this study, the mind expands, is elevated and uplifted, and becomes hungry to know more of God and His majesty. We have awakened in our hearts feelings not only of reverence and awe, but of love, of faith, of trust, and entire dependence upon one who is the giver of all good. And as I look at his marvelous works and see the evidences of his power, I instinctively inquire, What is man, that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man, that thou visitest him? Psalms 8.4 All the greatness and glory of these wonderful things in God's house can only be appreciated as they are in the mind associated with God and the future home of bliss He is preparing for those who love Him. While we talk freely of other countries, why should we be reticent in regard to the heavenly country and the house not built with hands, eternal in the heavens? This heavenly country is of more consequence to us than any other city or country in the globe. Therefore, we should think and talk of this better, even an heavenly country. And why should we not converse more earnestly and in a heavenly frame of mind, in regard to God's gifts in nature? He has made all things and designs that we shall see God in His created works. These things are to keep God in our remembrance and to lift our hearts from sensual things and bind them in bounds of love and gratitude to our Creator. 